Hello everybody, I wanted to show you the new CyanogenMod Mod 6 for the Samsung Intercept. It is available for Sprint and for Virgin Mobile, but it is still in beta, so it's still being worked on. Um, honestly, in my opinion, I'd have to say that this ROM is the best for this phone. Um, it runs amazingly smooth, um, and there's no lag like it used to be. Um, it's, it's just very nice. Um, it's almost like having a brand new phone. But anyways, uh, let this load up for a second. And uh, it actually boots up pretty quick too, so it should only just be a couple seconds. Alright, um, this isn't, um, I flashed this a while ago so I got a lot of stuff on it now. Um, the lock screen comes like that. You have the choice of the original lock screen or the rotary one. Let me give it a second. Uh, as of right now, I'm using the Go Launcher EX. It does come with ADW, but I like Go Launcher better. Um, this is a theme that I have with it. It's still, um, first couple of minutes it'll run a little slow. It's kind of initializing, I guess you could say. Okay, so, um, anyways. It's got the, uh, it's got a lot of nice things to it. It's got the, uh, power widgets. You can add a lot more than that. Um, it comes with the uh, portable Wi-Fi tethering built in. Uh, let's see. You have the the power icons up here. Um, all this is customizable. You can change the colors and everything. Um, I got it to go with the theme, so I'm gonna leave it like this. And go to the settings. Um, let's see. It's got the Cyanogen mod settings. Let me go back. Let's see, it's got the uh, input settings, the performance, sound settings, the interface. It's really customizable. I really like this ROM. It runs at amazing speed. I absolutely love it. Um, let me show you everything that it's being ran on. Let's see, I'm on 2.2. I'm on kernel 2.6, the mod version, which is Cyanogen Mod 6.1. Like I said, it's still in beta. Um, the crappy build anyways yeah but uh, I really do like this uh, ROM it is very good for this phone it, it makes it run amazingly smooth a lot of, a lot of, a lot of customizing abilities on this uh, let's see you can change the uh, colors of uh, pretty you know you can change a lot notifications, uh, titles, you can change the n uh, customizable bar, let's see you can change the color on that, see if I want it green, it'll be green up top, if I want it to be, um, turn it back to black, it'll be right back to black, anyways like I said this it runs really good um, I'm digging the flashlight that's built in. It's very handy to have. Sometimes you will get four closes on uh, or just random stuff sometimes. Like I said, it's still in beta, so... You know, it's got a couple of issues being worked out. Um, I also like the render effects on here. You know, it's pretty good at night. If You know, it's got different colors. You can do blue, green, red, whatever. But yeah, overall, I'd have to say this is probably the best option for this phone. Um, I, I cannot wait until they get get everything ironed out, get it to work real smooth. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be really nice. Uh, like I said, it runs really smooth. There's hardly any lag. Um, it's just overall amazing. 
Alright, well, you guys have a nice day.